good afternoon to all of you myself professor nv arpe from snd college of engineering and research center yola now uh, we are discussing about the measurement of energy in a uh, next uh, in previous video we have you already studied that the construction uh, working principle of single phase induction type conventional induction type energy meter that there are four types the construction of uh, energy meter are divided into four types four part first one is driving system uh, again braking system again you are controlling system and uh, monitor uh, uh, counting system and working principle uh, already uh, studied now in uh, today's uh, uh, lecture we are discussing about the torque equation that is driving torque equation of energy meter and errors which is present in a errors errors present in a uh, induction type of energy meter first we are uh, discussing about discussion about the driving torque the torque equation according to faraday law of electromagnetic induction emf is induced in the disc and current are circulated in it there is interaction between the this current and the magnetic field produced by the two magnets the driving force and the, the driving force will be produced and due to this the aluminum disc starts rotating means when the interaction of current flow into the current coil and pressure coil and the flux which is produced by the shunt magnet and series magnet the interaction between current and magnetic field then the then the force will be exerted in the Uh, aluminum disc and due to this the poor aluminum disc should be start rotating the driving torque produced is directly proportional to the flux produced by the pressure coil coil multiplied by the flux produced by the current coil coil and it multiplied by sin phi sin alpha Where alpha is the angle between flux phi p and phi c c, that is driving torque C d is equal to C d directly proportional to phi p c into phi c c means flux of pressure coil into flux of current coil into sine phi. But the flux, the flux in any winding, the flux in a ending or any winding, which is directly proportional to the current. It directly proportional to the current. Therefore, high P C means the flux produced flux in the pressure coil. It is directly proportional to the current flowing through the pressure coil. That is, high P C is directly proportional to high P C, and the flux produced by the current coil it is directly proportional to the current flowing through the current coil. Therefore, we write the I C C that is flux of current coil is directly proportional to the I C C that is current flowing to the current coil. Then T D is directly proportional to I P C into I C C sine phi. Means that the T D is directly proportional to uh, pressure coil current into current coil current into sine phi, but IPC means the current flow into the pressure coil is directly proportional to voltage, and current flow into the current coil that is it directly proportional to the I. Therefore, T D is directly proportional to V I L sine phi. V I L sine phi. But now the Pressure coil, the pressure coil current is pressure coil current is 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 ninety degree lag with the voltage. 
it is 90 degree lag with the voltage for finding out the angle alpha phasor diagram is plotted by taking v as a reference phasor and by considering the load as an inductive load with power factor cos phi is lagging cos phi is lagging then the phi the, then the current i l that is i c c is lagging with would lagging the voltage by an angle theta by an angle theta therefore the angle between il and ipc the angle between load current that is the current flowing to the which is same as the current flowing to the current coil and a current flowing to the pressure coil the angle between that that is alpha and alpha is equal to 90 minus theta 90 minus theta therefore alpha is equal to 90 minus theta then put alpha is 90 minus theta in that equation then td is directly proportional to vil sin 90 minus theta sin 90 minus theta means it is cos theta it is cos theta therefore the the driving torque the driving torque produced in a single phase induction type energy meter it is directly proportional to the power which is consumed by the load which is consumed by the load means the driving torque is directly proportional to the power consumption of the load means uh, the the power which is consumed by the any load according to that the driving torque will be produced and the controlling torque controlling torque which is required it is also called as braking torque controlling torque or braking torque which is required for for reducing the speed for reducing the speed of the aluminium when driving torque is provided, aluminum disc starts rotating at highest speed. To control the speed, the controlling torque is provided by the braking magnet. Means the braking magnet, which is used to uh, control the torque, control the torque, and due to this controlling of torque, the speed of the aluminum disc should be controlled. Hence, EMF is this starts rotating, plug produced by the braking magnet is cut by the disc, and due to that, the EMF in, is induced in the uh, aluminum disc, and therefore, eddy currents are circulated in aluminum disc, and they provide the controlling torque, which acts in opposite direction of the driving. A controlling torque, the direction of controlling torque, it is opposite to the driving torque, and which is proportional to proportional to the braking magnet plug, that is speed of aluminum disc. Speed of aluminum disc means Eb, the braking torque is directly proportional to the Vn. Therefore, steady. The speed of rotation of aluminum disc TD is directly proportional should be equal to T. Should be equal to T. Equal to T. Hence, power is directly proportional to the Vn multiplying on both sides by T. Then the power into time, that is energy, is equal to N into the number of revolution of the disc into time t. Then the registering mechanism is so arranged that the meter indicates the energy in kilowatt hour and not the number of and not the number of revolution. Means the energy meter which is used only shows the energy that is in kilowatt hour, not showing the number of rotations of the meter, number of rotations of the aluminum disc. Then the specification of energy meter, 
energy meter are specified with v i and k where v is range of pressure point in wood i is range of current coil in amperes where k is energy meter constant in in revolution per kilowatt hour that is k is equal to number of revolutions upon energy that is kilowatt hour and the k is directly proportional to the energy recorded by the energy meter energy recorded by the energy the next topic is the errors in induction type energy meter which will be discussed in next lecture okay so stop here